Hi, my name's Mike G. And yes, welcome to my workshop. Today's lovely guitar is uh, sort of a combination of uh, um, uh, the guitar that's commonly referred to as Snakehead, although it's not a uh, direct uh, copy of that. It's also um, got uh, elements of the La Cab Lolita series that uh, we do. So it's sort of like a um, old school and early school um, imagination or imagineering, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, it is a single pickup guitar. Um, it does feature a, uh, a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale neck. Um, uh, like what you'd find on uh, on a Les Paul, uh, unlike a lot of the uh, the Telecaster products, which there's a 25 and a half inch scale. So uh, this guitar um, is going to be real comfortable for a Les Paul uh, player, but who wants something that looks a little different than uh, his standard Gibson product. <laughs> Um, she features a uh, alder body with a mahogany cap on it. The cap is about three eighths of an inch. Um, as you can see, she is uh, stringed through and uh, aged um, to look as if she's been around the block a few times. Um, also, she uh, features a uh, Filtertron pickup, a uh, half tele bridge, uh, vintage uh, style. Uh, reproduction cupcake knobs, um, the uh, partial pick guard, sometimes known as the lock cab pick guard. Uh, the neck is a maple neck that has been uh, shot in nitro and then aged to match the body. Um, it is a rosewood fretboard. It does have uh, cream binding on the sides and dot markers, which is kind of cool. Up top, uh, we've got your 3-3 three, three, uh, squarish headstock. We put uh, a set of Dan Electro uh, vintage style tuners on here. I actually pulled those off of a uh, uh, um, off of a Dan Electro neck, and um, she features the gold Mike G Customs logo, which is kind of invisible, uh, which is uh, which helps us retain the the look of uh, the Snakehead style guitars. Um, what is what else? Um, I don't know. Um, down here we've got a standard volume and tone. This is a 500k pots with uh, with an orange drop cap, um, and there wasn't a lot of opportunity for it. But where we could, we used uh, pushback wire. Um, what else? I think that pretty much uh, does it. I I am absolutely in love with the Filtertron pickup. Every time I build one of these, I ask myself, why did I sell it? Because I sh should keep it. Um, but uh, I'm in the guitar selling business, not the guitar keeping business, uh, because keeping guitars is no business at all. <laughs> um, I, I actually used this at band practice last night, and my bandmates were just blown away how such a simple guitar could sound so good. Running through my Marshall uh, JZ900, which you know isn't necessarily a classic Fender style amp, um, it still sounded freaking amazing. So. Means that this is going to be put in the box and shipped um, within about 20 minutes after finishing up this video. Um, I should probably uh, uh, move forward with this demonstration. I'm going to start out clean. I'm going to run this through. Uh, I'm going to show you the uh, tone pot on it and uh, you know run around the neck a little bit. Then I'm going to add some gain to it. Uh, we should be done pretty quickly here. So uh, sit, sit, sit down, grab a drink. Let's do uh, the uh, demo of our uh, Lock Cab de Snake <laughs> guitar.
to kick on the gain now. I've got the gain at about 35%. shipping so if you're in the United States it's gonna add about 40 bucks and if you're in the um, anywhere else in the world we're looking at about 99 bucks to ship it uh, um, that said you can't beat the price you can't beat the looks you can't beat the sound it's a straight up and down awesome deal thanks for watching my name is Mike G of course uh, give us a call here at the shop 602 uh, 388 4010 um, we'd love to talk to you about guitars um, and uh, you know if we sell you a guitar cool if not um, then we uh, uh, then 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 we had a great conversation about the one thing that we have in common guitars thanks for watching my name is Mike G